up everyone it's pastor isa here welcome back to another sunday school online lesson now we're sad to not be able to see you in person but we know we're trying our very best to be safe and we're looking forward to coming back in person very soon um so uh, we're just gonna try to learn online all right now today we are learning an important lesson god is creative yes God is the creator of all things. When he made the whole earth and everything in it, he said it was good. That's right. Now, he made us in his image too. So because God is creative, we can be creative too. Now, what's a creative outlet you guys have? I know some of you guys love art, so you love drawing or, or um, coloring, making things, building things, all these things we can do because God gave us that ability to. For me, uh, I've recently been really into interior design. Now, I love um, having nice furniture and decor decoration items to make the house look really um, homey and just beautiful. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of you guys like that too. I've talked with some of you and your rooms look awesome. I don't know if you guys are doing that, your parents are helping you guys, but that kind of ability comes from God. He makes us creative. Now we're going to spend some time in the book of Genesis. Now I have my really cool Genesis um, Bible here. Um, it's full of really beautiful pictures. Anyway, Pastor Holly is going to talk to you guys more about that. So I'm going to pray with you guys to start off this lesson and then Pastor Holly is going to share her main lesson for the day. Um, tune in for the end of the video because we are going to do some singing and dancing and we're going to show you the memory verse for this month. All right, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this beautiful day. We thank you for every eye watching here today, whether it's an adult, whether it's a kid. We thank you for their time. And we just pray that you would open their heart, soul, mind, and spirit to what you have to share today through Pastor Holly. I pray that you would anoint Pastor Holly and give her wisdom and a joy as she teaches um, your people today. And I pray that you help us remember that we can be creative too because you made us creative and that you are the ultimate creator. Um, and I just pray that we would use all the creative uh, abilities and talents you've given us for good. Lord God, we love you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, Pastor Holly, you're up. Today we are learning that God is creative. God can make all kinds of things. He doesn't make just simple things. He makes amazing and exciting things. The Bible says that He made the whole world and He made you and me. And He created us to be creative too because He made us in His image. That means that God created us to be like Him. He created us to be kind to others because He is kind. And He is brave so He made us to be brave too. So we can be creative because God made us in His image. So we're going to use a few creative things to show how God created the world. The Bible shows us that God is creative. Genesis 1.1 says, God created the sky and the earth, and at first the world was completely empty. There was nothing on the earth. It was completely empty, and then the Spirit moved over the water. Then God said, let there be light, and the light began to shine. God made the world, and at first it was covered only in water. And then he made the light. He saw the light and he knew that it was good. And then he separated the light from the darkness. God named the light day and the darkness night. There was evening and then there was morning. This was the first day. And then God said, let the water under the sky let be, be gathered together so that the dry land will appear. And then it happened. God named the dry land earth, and he named the water that was gathered together seas, and then God saw that it was good. Next, God made the land and the oceans. So we are going to make some land. also made the plants that we see growing up from the ground. When God made the land and all the plants that he made, he said that it was good. What we made is good too. 
because we are made in His image and what we make is good. The Bible says that God also made the sun and the moon and the stars to light the sky uh, at night and at day, and it was all good. Let's see what more good things we can create. Our creation is awesome. When God saw the sun, the moon, and the stars, He said that it was good. God is creative, so we can be creative too. But God didn't stop there. In Genesis 1 verse 20, it says, Then God said, Let the water be filled with many living things. Let there be birds to fly in the air and over the earth. God told the fish and the birds to multiply. And God wanted the birds and the fish to multiply and have baby birds and baby fish so that there would be lots of them. God saw the birds and the fish and he said that it was good. I like our creation. It's good too. Let's create some animals and some birds on the land. So God made every kind of animal, the wild and the small crawling animals, and God said that it was good. Let's find out what God made after he made the animals. Then God said in verse 26, now let's make humans who will be like us, who will rule over all the fish in the sea and the birds in the air, and will rule over all of the large animals and all the little things that crawl on the earth. So God created humans in his own image he created them to be like himself. He created them male and female. That create means God created people. He made boys and girls in his image. He made us to be like him because he is creative. We can be creative too. God named the people and he told them to have families. He wanted there to be lots of people on earth. He made them over the rulers of, over the plants and the fish and the birds and he looked over all that he made and he said that it was good. God is creative, so we are creative too. God is beautiful. Kind of like this beautiful, shiny square. God is light. He shines and he sparkles, and he's kind and beautiful and patient and gracious, and every good thing comes from him. When God created us, he put some of that goodness, he put that goodness into us. He made us into, her, into his image. And he put that goodness into us. He put his kindness in us because he is good and creative. Now, this is the best heart ever. But he gave us his heart. What is something that God created in your heart? How did he make you creative? That's awesome. God is creative. He made you and for me and me. He put his character and his goodness into us when he made us. He made us in his image and we are made to be like him. What a great lesson. God is creative so we can be creative too. I'm going to get some of my friends today to share our memory verse actions with you. So follow them along and practice for yourself. Memorizing our memory verse helps us to know God's word and have it within us for all the days of our life. Let's learn our memory verse today. Ephesians 2, 20. Together we are his house, built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets. And the cornerstone is Christ Jesus himself. Wonderful job. 
Dania and Deanna. Thanks for sharing those awesome actions. Now we've got a song for you, so we hope that you would just take the time to worship God with your families. today we appreciate you for tuning in and i remember we are hoping to be back in person for sunday service on june 6th that's in a couple weeks i'm so excited and re i really really hope that the restrictions will be taken down and won't get extended because i miss you guys so much pastor holly and i miss you so much we just can't wait to see you in person and have fun with you guys together oh guess what Every Saturday in May, we're going to be posting a fun little challenge. It's our FCC Gives Back Challenge. And we want to give back to our community, our friends, and our neighbors. So we encourage you to check it out. Um, it's going to be on our social media every Saturday. We'll be posting a new one in the month of May. Alright, we hope you guys can participate and give back to your community. We hope you guys have an amazing Sunday. Remember to like, subscribe, and um, share our content on social media. You can follow us at FCC YMM Kids or our YouTube channel at Family Christian Center Kids. All right, and if you want to connect with Pastor Holly or I, you can message us. Message us on our social media, give us a text, give us a call, or email us. We are available and we would love to connect and pray with you guys. Once again, we love you, and remember, God made you creative, so go out there and be creative for Him. Have a great day.